We use titration calculations to work out the concentration of a solution. And we do that by reacting that solution with a known volume of a different solution that we do know the concentration of. So in this example, the sodium hydroxide is the solution that we know the concentration of, and we're going to use that to calculate the concentration of the hydrochloric acid, the HCl, in this equation. Now, in a typical titration experiment, I would measure out 25 centimetres cubed of my sodium hydroxide, either using a measuring cylinder or a glass pipette, and I'd pour that into a conical flask, and I'd have my acid in the burette, the long glass tube with the tap at the bottom, and I'd add the acid until I'd exactly neutralised the sodium hydroxide. Now, we'd need to use an indicator to show us when we had neutralised the sodium hydroxide, so we'd add the indicator to the sodium hydroxide in the conical flask. Now, to carry out this experiment, we might need to do maybe three or even four separate titrations. And the first titration is just a rough titration. It just allows us to get a rough idea of what volume of acid we need. Once we've got that rough idea, we can then use it to help us measure that volume more accurately by perhaps approaching that volume more carefully, maybe adding one drop at a time when we get close to it, so that we can measure the volume of acid needed very accurately. And so we've got that here, we've got three values that are very similar. So that gives us confidence that we're measuring them well. Now we need to take a average value of these three values and we would not include the rough value in that average, cal uh, average calculation because that's effectively an anomalous result. So, once we've worked out the average volume of acid needed, along with the volume and concentration of the sodium hydroxide, we can work out the concentration of the hydrochloric acid solution. So we can work out the concentration of the hydrochloric acid because we've measured the volume that we needed to add of the hydrochloric acid, and we know the volume and the concentration of the sodium hydroxide that we were reacting it with. Now the relationship between concentration, volume and number of moles is shown in this triangle. The number of moles in a solution is equal to its concentration times by its volume. And similarly, the concentration of a solution is equal to the number of moles present divided by the volume. Now this is only slightly complicated by the fact that we're using decimeters cubed to measure volumes in these calculations where one decimeter cubed is equal to a thousand centimeters cubed. And so one centimeter cubed equals a thousandth of a decimeter cubed. So I need to convert my volumes in centimeters cubed into decimeters cubed for these calculations. And I do that by just dividing them by 1000. Okay, we use a three step strategy to work out the concentration of our hydrochloric acid. The first step, and really the only thing we can do at this stage is work out the number of moles of sodium hydroxide because we can, sorry, because we have the volume and the concentration of the sodium hydroxide. So number of moles is concentration times volume and that's equal to 0 0.50, I'm not going to write the units in, 0 0.50 is the concentration times by 25.0 over 1000 and that's equal to 0 0.0125 moles of sodium hydroxide. So we're reacting the acid with 0 0.0125 moles of sodium hydroxide. In the second step, we use the balanced equation to work out how many moles of hydrochloric acid there must have been. And we look at the ratio of the two reactants. So the ratio sodium hydroxide to hydrochloric acid is one to one. There are no balancing numbers here, so one mole of sodium hydroxide reacts with one mole of the hydrochloric acid. So we've got a one to one ratio. So in other words, for however many moles of sodium hydroxide I've got, I've got the same number of moles of hydrochloric acid. So my moles of hydrochloric acid equals 0 0.0125 moles. The same number of moles as the sodium hydroxide because of this one-to-one -one ratio. 
And now we're in a position to work out the concentration of the hydrochloric acid. We've got the number of moles and we've got the volume that we used of the hydrochloric acid. And concentration is moles over volume. So we've got, uh, that's going to be equal to 0.0125 moles divided by 25.0 over 1,000. And that is equal to 0.050 moles per decimeter cubed. I missed out a little L there. And so we've used the volume of the hydrochloric acid and the volume and concentration of the sodium hydroxide to work out the concentration of the hydrochloric acid using this three-step strategy. Now I've used fairly straightforward numbers here but the strategy is the same regardless of the units you get, or the values you get, sorry. So it might be that your ratio is not one to one. You might get a two to one ratio. So the moles of acid would be half the moles of sodium hydroxide. And you might not get nice easy numbers like 25.0, but the strategy is the same. And that's how we can calculate the concentration of a solution using a titration calculation.